Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper on a beautiful Thursday afternoon here on the east coast of Canada. It's gorgeous and sunny and warm, a little bit humid, but, eh, you know. So, um... Here is my book. Angela Fair is, um, well, July is the um, watercolor month, world watercolor month. And Angela Fair, who is a watercolor artist and teacher and instructor who lives in northern BC, and I mean northern BC, like up close to Alaska, north. Um, and uh, she's a wonderful artist and a, a great teacher. She has a YouTube channel, Angela Fair, F-E-H-R. <clears throat> if you don't follow her, go visit her channel and, and give her a follow. She's really, really wonderful. She's good at explaining techniques and stuff like that. She also has a, um, a website where she has classes and courses called Learn angelafair.com and so she has courses available there um, <clears throat> anyway she and on her learn.angelafair.com she has a contest going on um, for world uh, watercolor month where you can enter simply by signing up you enter to win a huge prize package worth I think it was $800 that they're going to draw for at the end of July. <clears throat> and um, also, each week she's putting out a challenge um, where you can and then upload your picture underneath that video challenge and you can win a prize package worth about $180. And she was also asked to put out prompts, daily prompts for for the month of July and the cool thing is the pro um, her challenge comes every Tuesday and the Tuesday of each week and the her challenge for prizes um, coordinates with the prompts that she wrote for the month of July so for example Tuesdays was the No, Tuesday wasn't the 5th. It must be Wednesday. Because it's summer skies anyway. <clears throat> yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday, not Tuesday. My mistake. And summer skies is the prompt for the 5th of July. And that's the prompt for her prize giveaway. So if you're interested in that, go over to her site. Hey, Susan. K Moore is Karen. So, yeah, I missed Joyce's stream because I fell asleep yesterday. <laughs> anyway. So, this is my book. I did a Coptic binding. And so I am going to start with <clears throat> the prompts. So let's move my junk that's here. Put that back in its spot. I'm waiting for... What the heck are these? Oh, craisins. <clears throat> I tried binding it with this nice thread, but oh man, it's awfully hard when it's not waxed. I gave up after one, one hole of trying to use that. Oh man, yeah, it kept getting tangled. I was like, yeah, no, I'd have torn my hair out if I tried to keep using that stuff. All right, I'm trying to find room. I've got to move stuff out of my way. I still haven't cleared off my desk. But that's coming. Oh, 
All right. I haven't even looked at any of the prompts. The only prompt I know is Summer Skies, which I'm going to enter into the contest. But let's see what else. Of course, Angela has thousands of viewers in her place, so. Wait, she didn't believe you about what? What was going on? Oh, I hope she recorded it. <clears throat> Hello, Ray. Nice to see you. I think you're new. Oh, waxed cording at Michael's in the jewelry section. Oh, good idea. Okay. I hope she recorded it, I, um, Eileen. I'll have to go and watch her. So, what's the first prompt? Strong and free. Oh, that was for Canada Day. So, I don't think I'm going to watercolor on the back of this, on the back of this one. Um, just because I used glue to glue, uh, glue runner, and if it gets wet, it's probably going to fall off. So I'm just going to start here for the first. This is actually the other reason why I made this. I used my Fabriano hot press watercolor paper. So I figured this was a good chance for me to practice on water hot press paper because I've tried it once or once once or twice before and it really does react differently than the cold press and I just wasn't getting the hang of it so I thought with these small quick prompts um, it would be a good chance for me to work with this um, hot press paper thanks Dee Dee hello oh not to blend alcohol inks oh well i i don't see why you couldn't use them to blend alcohol inks oh no hey daddy oh, uh oh oh okay so I, I i have seen your name before right ray well welcome welcome to my place all right, so strong and free. Well, you know that I have to do this about Canada. So I am actually going to do, I gotta open it up though, on I gotta find it. Um, let's see. I don't think I got my, I don't think I got my window closed all the way. I closed it because it was humid. But I don't think I got it shut down all the way because the... <clears throat> all right. So, I got the logo. Hmm. I think I'm going to print it off. I should have thought of this beforehand. All right. Let's. It's kind of tough to see. I want to get it proportioned right. I've got to open our Canada 150 logo. Oh, it foams. Oh, no, you don't want to. Oh, oh. Oh, not the foamy stuff. Oh, okay. Hey, honey. Hold on here. I'm just getting I'm getting it open here. Uh, 
I just want to print this off. Print. 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 All right, so that should print. Yes. Oh, oh no, that's too big. Oh gosh, what am I thinking? We'll have to see. I'll print the second size too. All right. Hey Karen. Sorry. I had a good Canada Day, Joan. Yes, I did. All right, so I printed it at two different sizes. This is our Canada 150 logo. All right. Hey, Pula. Picola, Picola Art. Hello, welcome, welcome to my show. No, I did not. Um, I did not record how I made it because with my eyesight, it would all you guys would see with me binding would likely be a uh, the top of my head. This is a cover by. Um, seven Gypsies, I believe. And it's a Coptic binding. Eileen, if you can find Sea Lemons, just put in Sea Lemon Coptic binding. And the first one that comes up is the one that I use to teach myself how to do, do this book. So I accidentally, that one's too big to print up to use. So I printed a smaller one. Getting the uh, texture of the uh, cutting board on that. Just make sure. All right. Yeah, Sea Lemon has a lot of great book binding tutorials if you want to learn how to do book binding. And the hashtag is World Watercolor Month and watercolor summer 2017 is the second hashtag if you do any of these prompts on angela's Joan, that question is kind of like the great Newfoundland folk song. 
What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. Early in the morning. Yeah, I still don't have my voice back. <laughs> yeah, not exactly. I always had to laugh that it's it's in our Music Canada textbooks for the grade five students. I'm like, mm, maybe back in the 70s when it was, you know, when that book was written, the grade fives may not have uh, known the true meaning of that those words. I mean, it is a funny song, but really. <coughs> oh, is he really, Karen? Where is he from? Excuse me. Okay, I've got one line that's a little off center properly here. Just straighten that one up. Winnipeg. You can hear the wind. My window is not quite shut tight, so it's 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 uh, amplifying the windy sound a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to need. Let's see. I'll use the larger one for the colors. So this is red and red. And then this is red orange. Orange. Green, green, yellow. Blue turquoise. This is purple. This is like a fuchsia. Or, and this is a violet and a yellow. Okay, so... I need that one. Gonna need my cerulean. Uh, 
That's not lemon yellow. I'll go with my cad yellow deep. I'll go with my permanent red and my brilliant orange, although it's going to have to have some yellow in it. Okay. And then I'm going to have to mix a purple. Okie dokie. So let's get my plate out here. Um, use a small brush because I'm not great at control. So I'm going to use my number five. Let's start with the red. To spin my brush to make sure it comes to a nice point. Joan. Yeah, I use my KFC ones for my acrylic. They are waxed, but I just don't think they would be quite as See, I'm so bad with straight lines. Got to work on those brush exercises that Anna Anna Victoria Calderon shows. Hey Monique, how are you? So now I need to make this orange. I'm going to see if my, it should work with the, a little bit more than that. Oh, oh. Okay, so red, orange. Hold on. Just a minute. I gotta try and save some of that yellow there because it got a little. I forgot to clean my brush before I went back in it, so. Oh, now I made it too orange, so I'm going to go in and do the orange one, which is this larger one here. something weird <laughs> all right so I need to add a little bit red back into this one because I ended up with too much there, that's actually pretty good, I think, there. Let's get my red orange. I 
think I need to go even with my smaller brush. I'm not very good. Sorry, you guys are probably only seeing the top of my head, are you? Yes, it's National Fried Chicken Day. Yay, Karen. Woohoo. Let's see if I can pick up this little bit that went outside my line here. Or am I making it worse? Probably going to make it worse. Definitely need my smaller brush yet. So. Not quite that small though. This one will work. My number two. Number two. All right, next, my cerulean blue goes down in the bottom right hand corner here. And these are just small spaces, so I shouldn't need a whole lot. come in since I said this is prompt one because I'm behind I'm gonna try and catch up on my stream on world watercolor day prompts and I'm just these pages are four and three quarters by six and three quarters then I bound in by Coptic stitch into seven gypsies book covers now have to, if I have to go back over these with another layer, that's fine. All right, so let's do my dark blue, which I am going to use my phthalo blue hue. So these colors are to re represent... The dark blue for the sea, the light blue for the sky, the orange, red, and yellow, and greens, or uh, orange, red, and yellow for the leaves of the fall, and the green for the leaves and the and the grass. And of course, the maple leaf is our emblem. Oh, I may have to add, we'll see how this dries. I may have to add a smidgen of indigo in it. We'll see if I left it kind of thick so it would dry. Ah! I really need to learn, practice my straight lines. It was really good until I didn't pay attention and messed up. Okay. <laughs> Money. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to take my phthalo blue and 
take some of my permanent red. And I get my nice real purple. So that'll work for this one here. Make sure I don't have a drop on my... So I'm going to take this over, some of it over here, some of that purple color. I'll leave some there in case I have to do a second coat. And I'm going to add some alizarin crimson to it to make it a little more pinky. It may not even be right with that. Yeah, not too bad. I think it needs more though. And make it a little more. I think I need more. Lizard and Crimson. That's going to be the right color. Hold on. And it's not too bad. It's close enough. Joan. Wow, Lori. That's not usual for Montana, is it? Holy smokes. <clears throat> All right, and let's see the closest thing. I need pink. I do really water down a little crimson. I'll be good for the pink.
Wow. All right, so I need one, I need a, this is not quite a sap green. It's a little more blue. So I think I need to take some sap green. of my phthalo blue just a touch have to be careful though because it's pretty strong Not quite the right color. Hey, Dr. Dot. Oh, sorry, Dr. Dot. Well, I'm just working on my first page of my watercolor. And now the real lime green. I can use my leaf green for that. With a little bit of the sap green, I think. There we go, that, that's a good color, I think. Oh dear, it's picking up a little bit of the extra, it's a little too much water mixed in that. I 
I don't know. I bought mine at, uh, where did I buy mine? To Sayers, I think, online. But it's Can Canadian. I don't think they ship to the U.S. Hi, Ellie. <clears throat> no, it's just because my window's not quite shut tight, uh, Dee Dee. It's not a cold Arctic winter wind by any stretch. I don't know why that got way up there. I need to make that a little more. Okay, so I just need to do my yellow, and I need to add another layer to the screen, but I've got to make sure it dries first. So my yellow is going to be my Cad Yellow Deep. Yay, Dot. Hi, Bay. Yeah, I missed your two, Dee Dee, because I fell asleep right after I signed off from you. Silly me. Stem is red. Yeah, stem is red. Thanks, Dee Dee. All right, so that's our Canada 150 logo. Canada formally became a country with our own governing body in 1867. Queen Victoria signed our confederation. Of course, Newfoundland didn't join us until... 1949, they became our 10th province. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks, Dee Dee. See, it was good. It was good practice. It was good practice in paint mixing, right? See? So, not bad. Now, should I do this with my watercolor? Because I cannot... I know what I'm going to do. Since I can't find it tough with a brush, I'm going to... Oh, but my red one's missing. My red marker is missing still somewhere. It's got to be on my floor because they fell on the floor once. I was going to use those, but my red one is missing. Dang it all. So, I'm, okay, I'm going to practice, right? This is all about practice, right? All right. Here we go. I'm going to use red. And I'm going to use it so it's not too thin. Because I think that will make it harder. It will be easier if the paint's a little bit thicker to write with it. Okay, so. Should I try and print or write? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. And then the prompt was strong and free, so that's going to go here. Strong. Whoa. -oh. Let's try that again. And keep the keep it up straight Joycey is a hoot, and she is silly, but she is so genuine, and if anyone doesn't see that, then it's their loss. She's just hilarious, but she's so genuine. Yeah, me. Definitely. All right, so let's get the heat gun out. Heat gun. There's prompt one done. Messed up the word strong, but oh well. Canada 150, our 150 year celebration. Um, and it's interesting because on our centennial in 1967, it was kind of a design similar to this, but the maple leaf was all triangles. Let me see if I can draw it or not. Let me see. 
I'll probably stuff it up as a Something like that. <laughs> I kind of messed it up. So our centennial design was like this. All triangles. And so then a, a maple leaf all in triangles. So then the girl who designed, the artist who designed this, the lady, I should say. She wasn't a girl, she was a lady. Young lady. The, she, just, she sort of took that triangle idea but made it diamonds. Yeah, new this year. Yep. Yes, it's a maple leaf, Eileen, in, in diamonds. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to, on the bottom of this, I'm going to put prompt one. All right. Okay. Prompt two. In the shit. What? Hold on. I have to get my... It's kind of a large print, but for some reason I still can't read it. Oh, it is in the shade. It is in the shade. Okay, so in the shade. In the shade. Okay, I think I've got it. See you. All right, I can use my number five, I think, for this one. Put that one up there. So in the shade, I think I'm going to do a sea and a beach scene with an umbrella. So let me draw it first, I guess. As bad as I draw. All right, so I'm going to put the horizon up here and the beach here. Oh, well, I I put the background. I put the background in. I added the background. Silly me. Hey, Orla. The prompts are from Angela Fair. Just a second. Let me see if I can get the link here. Um, let's see here. In here, just a minute.
Okay, here is a link to her summer. There's the link to her summer challenge if you want to follow. And the prompts can be found there. Alright, so now I am going to put um, maybe a beach towel. No, beach chair. Alright, so now let's get rid of the lines I don't need. Don't want that line going through the umbrella. Alright. Wow, Orla, you're going to be busy. Gee. So let's do the sky first. So I'm going to use, I'm going to need a little more. All right. And I'm going to want a larger brush to wet my sky. Use my big brush. go in with a little bit of my darker blue, my phthalo blue, I think. And I need to water that down just a little bit.
Ray. Oh. Oh. I love watercolors, Ray. Love, love, love. All right, so now the C is going to be add some marine blue to my phthalo blue for the C. So this prompt is in the shade, although I don't spend time in the shade at the beach. A lot of Easter, East Coasters do because there are several yummy beaches here on the East Coast that's still wet. He'd gone a little longer. Oh yes, Orla. You're going to get to see Carrie too, right? Is that after? You're going to Carrie's after Marilyn, though, right? Or before? Hey. <laughs> I didn't start off good. I've had a couple of, uh, yeah, not so good things happening. Hey, Bonnie. All right, so I've got my, these, of course, I am using my I am, of course, using my I think I need, all right. All right, so let's go back in with my larger brush with clear water. And I'm going to wet my... Wet my water. I need to add a little wee bit of indigo into this, I think. That's a little better. Lovely. Sounds fun, Orla. I'm glad you're going to see her. Be good for her and for you. All right. 
that's going to need another layer. I have to make it a little bit darker out there. So let's dry it. See what happens. Well, it, it's, it's okay. It's just different, Eileen. I just have to get used to the difference in how it allows the paint to move. It's better for detail, but it doesn't seem to like, it doesn't, I guess because there's not as much texture, it doesn't absorb as much. So you have to be even more careful with um, how much water you use. Thanks, Dee Dee. All right, now. Like I said, I need to make this water. We don't have nice, <laughs> the East Coast doesn't have nice uh, Caribbean-like water. It's not nice and blue like that. So I do need to add another layer and add some indigo into that. Uh, marine blue. Okay. This time I'm going to try um, wet on dry. See how different that reacts. I want it to be a very still water day. But it still needs to have, all right, I need to get my tissue ready and fold it. All right, so now I'm going to go in with clean water. And Thalo blue is under that, and it's a very staining color, so it's probably not going to come to white, which is okay, because I can add white to it later with my Posca or my gel pen. So I'm just going to put a couple of waves just at the very edge where it would be coming up at the sand so that it, I don't want any out in the distance because I don't want it to look like rough waters. Thanks, Eileen. Okay, so I'll deal with the rest of that 
later. Let's clean it up because I don't want it to bleed into the sand. Dry it up, I should say. Let's just say I've given away more of the art I've created than I've kept, except for my journals. All right. Now, for sand, I'm going to use, let's see, um, my burnt, burnt umber with a little bit of yellow ochre. Let's see if I can get a good color with that. There's a little orange left there, but that's okay. It's almost made a little bit of a yellow ochre color. May have to add All right, so we just have to kind of, I want to wet this first. Okay, so once again, Angela Fair, F-E-H-R, is the one providing, the, was asked to provide the prompts for this July Watercolor Month Challenge. Ooh, I love the way that that's granulating right there. Looks nice and sandy. Oh, oh, oh. Darn it, that went past my, I'll make my chair a little skinnier, I guess. Because it went a little too far. Dot, they're talking about you. You better get here. Come out. I don't know what you're doing, but they're talking about you. Best come defend yourself.
should have used a larger brush for the sand, I think. That's okay. It's a lesson learned. Did you guess, Dot? Sorry, excuse me. Finished my pop. That was very rude to slurp. But I'm going to have another can. Okay, let's do heat gun that sand. So these are just little sketches. I'm not expecting them to be, you know. It's a way to practice my Now, next, what I need is to, I think I'm going to do the chair to match the umbrella. And since I have some green paint here already, I'm going to make it green and mm, maybe purple. I'll see. So let's do green. All right, and you can see that there's a little extra here at the bottom, so I need to take that off. It's already causing a bloom on this one. So I'm just going to try and wet the whole thing again and cause even more blooms, of course, like, because I'm so bad at it. Thanks, Joan. Thanks, Dee Dee. Well, you know, I had green. Look, I had green on my thing. I don't want to waste it. gonna remove this line right here because I'm gonna do that all one color Heat gun. no not a chance purple but I think I'm gonna do yellow mm -hmm. then I do yellow stripes it will be look it'll look more summery right
actually. I think it needs a little bit more of a That's better. More of this. Needs more of the sap green in there. It was a little dull. There we go. to get dried really well before I can add the shade and I need to do okay I think I'm going to take some of this mix that I had for the sand and I'm going to add some indigo blue in there make it a dark brown for the legs of the chair and the umbrella. It may have to even be darker than that. because it's going to go into the shade and I don't want it to get Eileen. All right, so let's. Oh, yeah, I still need to. Hold on. I need to make this a little darker. All right, now I need to dry it before I do the shade. All right, now off in the distance, I'm going to take some. indigo blue and along the horizon Okay, and this is just made up in my head. It's not, that's just to break up the horizon a little bit.
All right, now the scary part is to add the shade underneath the umbrella here. And I'm going to use the indigo mixed with a teeny bit of burnt umber to warm it up a little. So I need indigo. And it needs to be nice and thin here. So, make sure it's all dry there, yep. Thanks, Orla. Cocoons are what caterpillars go in May to turn into butterflies. Uh oh, hold on. I think I just messed it all up, didn't I? I just stuffed it. Let me see if I can pick some of that up. I need it to have a little bit more water in it. See if I can uh, blot some of it up a little bit. Oh, dang it, Jean. Why do you do that? Mess things up. Just trying to make it look like there's shade. And I messed it. Well, just trying to make it look like the All right. Hold on. Let's see. All right, let me see if I can fix this by just adding more sand. Let's keep drawing this. Oh, yeah, thanks, May. I think what I need to do is just put the shade on the ground, right? All right, I'll fix it. I'm glad you believe in me, May. Let's see how much this hot pressed paper can take. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I've got the sniffles. I don't know why my allergies are so bad today. 
Oh, not like they cut the lawn or anything. All right, I'm going to use my larger one. Let's see if I can fix this sand here. And I need a little bit of yellow ochre. All right, let's see if I can fix this sand. All right, what can I do? So now what I wanna do is take some of that burnt umber and a little bit of this and just make a an area of shadow. Oh well. All right, so I bet I sort of, the only thing, place, thing I can't seem to fix is, is this line here. But I'm wondering if, so I'm gonna leave it. That line is still kind of there, but it's just memories of my, of my silly error. Learning, right? All about learning. Oh, it's not quite dry. this for my prompt number five because prompt number five is summer skies although I had planned on doing a night sky for that a sunset but we'll see
Okay. Ouch. Leaving it. Let's put it... Prompt two. Don't have to date it because it's all on the page. Prompt three. Sand and seashells. Well, well. All right. I guess another chance to do a sea scene. Thanks, Dee Dee. Yes, I'm watercoloring on both sides of the page. It's 140 pounds, so there's no reason not to. Right. Where is my ruler gone? Where did I put my ruler? It's not back in my twirly thing. So it must be here somewhere. Um, huh, good question, Jean. Where did your ruler go when you finished with it? Oh, there it is. I found it. Now, this time I'm going to do my, I'm still going to do my, I think what I'm going to do is make it all part of the same scene. How cool would that be? So I'm going to continue it there, but I'm going to do the sand. I'm going to make the sand kind of go up this way instead. So there's more sand area. Yeah, I'm going to make it continuous. Waxahachie, Texas. Ha. Huh. Thanks, CB. It's okay. It's still messed up, but hey, it's all about learning. This is not for sale. This is just learning. And if you don't make any mistakes, you're not going to learn much. I mean, I learned a lot when I did my stoned angel. <laughs> okay, so... Wet the sky. I'm losing space. off an area because I somehow lost my blue area. I don't know what happened. <coughs> may have to wet my paper again. I thought I had a blue area so I wasn't worried about it but anyway. wet it a little bit again. <sighs> I 
actually I have some salt so I could add some salt I think I'll add some salt Thanks, Dr. Dot. So what I'm going to do, Eileen, for the sand, is I'm going to do a layer first here of just color, and then I'll let it dry, and then I'll add a second coat over the whole thing and add salt to the whole thing to try and get that sand look. Alright, so now I have to try and get that same color for the water. So I used Oh, for heaven's sakes, I can't draw straight if my life depended on it. There we go.
This is a baby wipe. get crunchy. Okay, Eileen, explain what you mean with the, um, so do you mean to add the embossing powder and then like heat set it? Is that what you mean, Eileen? That's still not dry. Let's see. Water. And paint with the mixture, but then heat set it so it melts. Is that what you mean? Okay, well, I'm going to do one layer first. But I have to draw some shells here. Ugh. They're going to be huge shells, seashells. Mm. Let's see. Once again, here is the link to Angela Fair's place where you can sign up for the draw and for the daily prompts if you want. All right, let's see here. Seashells. Okay, so... There's one. Hmm, I think I'm gonna leave that for another one, Eileen. I am going to use the salt, though. drawing some seashells. You guys probably can't see them. Hey, Sophia.
So let's wet this. So I'm going to do one layer of sand first to try and match it up with the other page and then I'll dry it and then on the second layer I will add the salt. Sorry if you're only seeing the top of my head. I just forget about that.
No, I don't know at all what's going on. Karen, do I need to scroll back? It's hard to keep up with chat when you're watercoloring, isn't it, Dee Dee? Oh my goodness. <sighs> my poor deformed starfish. Gosh, he looks more like SpongeBob. Yeah, nothing. I still not quite dry that sand. Don't want to do another layer yet. So I'm just going to dry it up here. Yeah, the third, <laughs> the second, the second prompt was in the shade. So I drew a, a beach chair in the shade of an umbrella. And then the third prompt was sand and shells. So I just extended the picture. Well, come on, Eileen. I'm not that fancy, and it's a very small page. How do you expect me to do a whale? We can pretend this is a whale. Off in the distance. <laughs> One moment, please. <clears throat> For some reason, my allergy pill isn't pulling its weight today. <clears throat> okay. All right. All right, that's good now. So I think I need to make sure I have enough of my 
brown and my burnt umber and yellow ochre to get the whole dual page done. Excuse me. I'm going to go over the whole thing. I've got my salt right here beside me, ready to go. This is just regular table salt. I had sea salt in the kitchen. I guess I could have gone and got it, but I didn't. It was already starting to dry, so I felt like I had to kind of wet it there a little bit. Uh-oh. It went over my poor... Starfish's fin again, or leg, whatever it is called. No, I did not mask the shells. I went around them. That's why I colored over poor starfish's leg there. <laughs> I'm too lazy to wait for the masking fluid to dry. Even though my graphic stuff does dry fairly easily, but fairly quickly. So now I have to sit and wait for this to dry. I could dry it though because it's already picking up some color. I think I'm going to dry it with a heat gun anyway. See how it works. Thanks, Dee Dee. I'm not patient enough to do these kind of 
effects, you know. I can't wait for the stupid stuff to dry. And I can't work on the shells until this dries or it'll bleed into my shells. I don't know if I gave it enough time. We'll see. Hmm. A little texture, more of a mess. Because I didn't wait for it to dry enough. Feels like sand, it's kind of smooshed in there. Second, I'm just gonna go in with my water for a minute, see if I can smooth some of this out. It's textured, but not like sand. Okay. Now, what color? Kind of pinkish, all right, so. Gotta use my smaller brush for the starfish, cause yeah, and the shells. All right, let's go back to my number two. All right, this one I'm going to do with my lizard and crimson, I think. Now I'm going to wet it and blot it so that it's not quite so dark and leave more of a pink color. It's quite a staining color, so. Bye, Susan. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm not. That's based on James Patterson's novel, right, Eileen? But it's kind of one of his, it's not his mystery kind. It's more one of his outlet kind of. I think it's one that Dee Dee would like. I didn't read the novel either. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh.
So there's my first shell. It's a little pinker than I wanted, but it's... all right. So now I think I'm going to take a little bit of that, and if I mix it with Some yellow. I put a little burnt umber in there, but I'm going to mix a little yellow in with it too. I should get a, nice, a little peachy color. Maybe a little too much. Yellow. Alright, that's pretty good actually. That's pretty good for the starfish. I think. Nice golden color there before I add more red. So I'm going to need a liner because I'm going to have to go around the outside of him with the darker brown. Thanks, Judy. Sand's looking a little dark. I may, I may have to go over it with some yellow on this side and lighten it up. There's still salt on that. Feels like sand. <clears throat> all right, so I need oh, first of all, I'll wash that. My liner brush. Where is it? There it is. My zero zero zero. And I'm going to use burnt umber on its own. Uh, 
Oh, I should see what time. Oh, two hours and 16 minutes. So when I'm done this page, I'm going to stop and start a new recording. I want to, I'll probably stay on a little longer than usual today if, unless someone else was planning on streaming. Was Debbie going to stream after me, Eileen, today? Does anybody know? Because I'll keep going if no one else was going to go on after me. So I want to catch up on these prompts. <sighs> okay. Well, let me know if you see anyone saying on... Alright, so there's my starfish. These guys are mostly white. So what I'm going to do is a very light uh, cerulean blue kind of around the edges of those. Oops. Now I keep bumping into my... I think I need my little stiff brush to take away some of this. Ended up with a little too much blue there. So I'm just going to and that one's not too bad. Okay, gotta work at making things look white. It's harder than you think. So this one I want to be Peach. So I'm going to try. A little orange in with this yellow mixture I have already. I think I need to add more yellow. Lemon yellow. And even more. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good.
And this one's laying upside down. So I think I need to do a yellow wash over this beach to lighten it up. I think I might just add it to this kind of peachy color I've already got here. See if this lightens up the sand some. That just makes it look worse. So, let's not do that and say we did. Well, at least it lightened up that spot that got too dark. All right. Bad idea, Jean. Anyway. back in and get my shade it back in there because it kind of disappeared all right I'm calling that done I'm not one for shells. Do they look like dead fish? They're just little shells. Well, all right, I'm going to fix that. adding a detail along the little foamy stuff at the
Thanks, Orla. Eileen. Thanks, Karen. All right, so this is prompt three. So that's one. Thanks, Dorothy. Two, three. Now on to prompt four, but I'm going to start a new recording. So stay here with me live. 